welcome to today's program. This is Dr. Awesome. Summer. We're leaving the airport. This was an absolute delight to cook. Um, what I took with this was flour, egg, milk, and oil, a little bit of Cajun seasoning, a splash of sriracha, mix it up with a lot of water. in the car with Bruce Gossick and Bruce is from Oklahoma and Bruce firmly believes in the power of tithing. You've had some blessings from that. Uh, Malachi 310 says if you don't pay tithes you're robbing God. You're a thief and a robber. And it says prove God, put him through the test that he will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing more than you can contain if you pay tithe. So he gives it all back. And the Bible says if you honor God with your money, he will honor you. So Bruce, many years ago, he sold his home. Well, Bruce has given over $200,000 to the church. He sold his home in Oklahoma. What did you do from there? And you sold your home in Oklahoma? Oregon. I sold my property for 11000 Okay. And 4000 went to Africa, Mozambique, Africa, and they built a whole church 35 years ago for $4,000. So money goes a long way in Africa. Oh, yes. You asked Definitely. Money. Definitely. Definitely. So that was a blessing for a lot of people. You never know what small things that you, what may be considered small to you, does for other people. But when you sow a seed, you don't get a harvest right off the bat. Sometimes it takes years for your harvest to mature and reap a blessing. For me, it's been 35 years. So do you see yourself traveling in the near future? In my own private jet, going around the world a lot. The Lord said I go on six cruises. Two of them will be my, uh, he's given me a beautiful wife that looks like Manduela on uh, Price is Right. And uh, we're going to go to uh, a Mexican Riviera cruise in our 45 foot yacht, go through the Panama Canal to Belize. The Lord told me to buy six poor single women, young, house and a car and give them enough money to pay tithe, give them 150000 I thought it was two, but he told me it'll be six. Well, we're going to check. Be, it'll be at the end of this year. We're going to check back with you at the end of the year and see if that materializes. Because he told me I'd get married in October, and I believe it's this year. He's single, ladies. His name is Bruce Gossick. He's single, and he's looking for a wife <laughs> to go to Africa with him. All right, blessings, everyone. And Bruce's number, pick a number, Bruce. Uh, Bruce's number is number four, and he is going in with us to the Gambia. Oh,